Hello there, this is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMV LLC, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the brand new AMD EPIC 9004 series processors that were launched today, and why they're going to be so important for SQL Server usage. I'm going to tell you which specific SKUs are best for SQL Server 2022. AMD is claiming a 14% IPC uplift, and both the base and boost clock speeds are also significantly higher than the previous generation AMD EPIC 7003 series. All of this means that these are extremely fast server processors that will be great for SQL Server 2022. This picture explains the 14% IPC uplift between Zen 3 and Zen 4. So this was tested with 33 server workloads running at the same clock speed between Zen 3 and Zen 4. So you see a 14% IPC improvement. Now on this, you can see we've got three separate core count groupings here. So we have a 64 core and a 32 core and a 16 core skew from each of the two generations. And you can see the differences in the base clock speeds and then the boost clock speeds and also the TDP ratings for these processors at the same core count. And you can see a very significant jump in the base clock speed especially, but also a pretty significant jump for the boost clock speed. So all this together means that I think we're gonna see probably between 25 and 30% better overall performance on most workloads with AMD Genoa compared to the previous AMD Milan. Not only is AMD EPIC 9004 going to be much faster from a raw CPU performance perspective, there are many other platform improvements that will really help database performance. These Zen 4 server processors have up to 96 cores with 12 channels of DDR5 4800 memory. On top of that, there are 128 lanes of PCIe 5 Gen 5 support and 64 lanes of CXL 1.1, which can be used for extra memory expansion. They also have AVX 512 support, which can be leveraged by SQL Server 2022 to help column store queries. Here's a list of the previous generation AMD Milan and Milan X processors, and this is just a selected list of all the SKUs that are available. And these are generally speaking the best ones at each core count. And the ones that have the X at the end of the name on the SKU, those are the 3D Vcache Milan X processors. And what you'll notice here is that they typically have a little bit lower clock speed than the non-X versions, especially when you're comparing them to the frequency optimized SKUs that have an F as part of the SKU name. So this is what it was historically. Now we can see the list of initial SKUs for the AMD EPIC 9004 product family. And what you'll see here is that they are grouped by core counts. And you'll see several, anywhere from two to three SKUs at a certain core count. So what's really important for SQL Server is that you wanna pick the right SKU at a given core count, the best SKU for SQL Server. And that usually means it has a higher base clock speed and a higher boost clock speed. Often it means it has a larger L3 cache and it has a higher default total design power, TDP. So that's what you're looking for. And AMD helpfully makes this easier here because the ones that are in blue that have an F at the end of the SKU name are the frequency optimized high performance per core SKUs that are really, really good for SQL Server. So those four, there's four of those right there that you wanna concentrate on on the lower core count SKUs. And then we're gonna talk about the actual way you decode these SKU names in just a second here. So here's the secret decoder ring for AMD EPIC processor SKUs. So the first digit is the product series and it's gonna be nine for all the currently released Genoa SKUs. And then the second digit is the core count. And that little table down at the bottom shows you what that means. So a five means it's a 64 core processor. Then the third digit is the relative performance within the family. So higher numbers or higher relative performance. And then the fourth number is the generation. So this is the fourth generation of Epic. So they're all gonna have fours there. And then 
Finally, you're gonna have a letter perhaps at the end. So P means it's a one socket only SKU, and F is a performance or core optimized SKU, sometimes called a frequency optimized SKU. So those are the really fast ones that are great for SQL Server. So now you understand how to look at a SKU and figure out what it really means. This table shows you the very best AMD Epic Milan SKUs at each core count. And remember, Milan is the previous generation that's been available for about a year and a half now. And these ones in this table are the best choices. So you have a 64 core, a 48, 32, and so on. And there's several SKUs at each core count, but this is the best one for SQL Server. And I like to point out that the one in the top of the list, the Epic 7763, the flagship processor for that generation, that's based, those numbers are from an actual TPCE official submission. And then the rest of the ones in this table are calculated numbers based on that, where I adjust for the number of cores and the base clock speed to come up with these estimated numbers because no server vendors actually submit official TPCE submissions for lower core count SKUs. So that's where these numbers come from. And now you know, just by looking at this chart, which ones are the best. And if you're picking one that's not on this chart, you're making a mistake. And I'll point out that even though the one for 48 cores is on the chart, it's still not really a good choice because if you look at the score per core number, 115.74, that's quite a bit lower than the 7763. So I would just sort of skip that one if I was thinking about it. And you wouldn't have that problem in the cloud though because cloud vendors like to go for the highest core count skew in a particular generation. So now after all this background, we've made it to the list of the best SKUs for SQL Server from the AMD EPIC 9004 family, which is introduced today. And these are all estimated TPCE scores because as of the time of recording, there are no official scores for this family yet. So what I did is I just added 25% to the 64 core SKU compared to Milan. And then I used my same methodology to adjust for the number of cores and the base clock speed to come up with the rest of these numbers. And this is my estimate of what's going to happen when we finally see a TPCE benchmark submission for Genoa. And you will notice that the lower core count SKUs have much higher score per core performance. That's their single threaded CPU performance that's really important for SQL Server. And this is the ones that you're gonna to wanna to pick, the ones that have the F at the end of their name. And then unfortunately, the cloud providers are gonna pick the higher core count SKUs. So they're gonna be picking that 96 core SKU probably in most cases. And so that's faster than the previous generation, but it's not as fast as the lower count, core count SKUs from the same generation. And that's the way it's always been, because when you have fewer cores, you've got more power budget to boost the clock speeds higher. But again, these F SKUs are really good choices for SQL Server, just like they have been for Milan and Rome before that. So if it's not an F SKU, especially for an on-premises, installation, you are definitely making a mistake. Since we don't have any official TPCE benchmark scores yet, I'm going to look at a couple of Geekbench scores to give you an idea of how much better Genoa is going to be than what's currently out there, both from Intel and AMD. So this is an Intel Xeon Platinum 8375C. It's an Ice Lake processor, and it's the best processor that most of the cloud pro providers offer right now. So AWS and Microsoft Azure and OCI all have versions of this. And you can see that the single threaded score is 1140, which is pretty good. But wait till you see what Genoa can do. So here's a Geekbench 5 score for an AMD EPIC 9374F. And again, that is a frequency optimized SKU that has a very high clock speed. So this is somewhat unfair to that previous Ice Lake processor. But this gives you a taste of how much faster Genoa is compared to Milan or Ice Lake. And I think, although we don't have any benchmarks to prove this yet, 
that AMD Genoa is going to be considerably faster for single thread performance than the upcoming Intel Sapphire Rapids processors. And one other thing I want to point out is that these CPU benchmarks like Geekbench are just measuring CPU performance. So they're not getting any benefit from DDR5 memory and PCIe 5 storage and CXL, for example. So keep that in mind for database applications like SQL Server, all those things are gonna have a, an extra add-on effect to improve performance for SQL Server. This is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMV LLC, and I want to thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And finally, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe because that really helps the channel out. Really? You have a lot to say.